Captains. I'm Michael Craw. And I'm Alex Dorsey, and we're coming to you from Studio 503 with another episode of WK Today. All current and future National Art Honor Society students, first mandatory meeting is Tuesday, October 11th at 235 in room 504. Completed applicants applications are due at or before the meeting. They can also be placed in the folder outside Ms. Groff's room. Online at-home credit recovery just started for any sophomores, juniors, or seniors who need to recover a credit. The cost per half credit course is $100. Please see your counselor by today for more information. If you are a junior playing powder puff, please be on the field at 5.30 to get ready for the game. For more on sports, let's toss it over to Bryce. Thanks, Michael. Don't forget to come out tonight and watch the juniors take on the seniors in the much-anticipated powder puff game. Kickoff is set for 6.30. Halftime will feature members of the Booty Squad and there will be fireworks after the game. If you are interested in playing hockey on the Waterford United team, there will be a player-parent player meeting on Monday, October 10th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. in the Kettering LGI. If you are unable to attend the meeting, please see Ms. Jackson in the athletic office. There will be a wrestling meeting for ath athletes and parents on Monday, October 17th at 6.30 in the LGI. If you have any questions, contact Coach Hanna. In NFL news, the Detroit Lions, Lions continue to disappoint their fans with their latest loss to the Chicago Bears with a score of 14 to 17. The Lions fail to one and three. Fall to one and three. They will face the Eagles at the home at home this coming Sunday. In MLB news, even with the late season surge, the Tigers lose on Sunday, ended ending their season. It will also announce by the announced by the Detroit News that manager Brad Austin Austin will be returning at the fourth season. In college football, Michigan's fifth game home home season had proven to benefit them as they were able to sneak by Wisconsin Saturday with a score of fourteen to seven. Detroit native Jordan Lewis made an incredible one handed interception to give Michigan possession for the last few minutes. Let's take a look at the clip from the Big Ten Network. Down the middle of the field. Intercepted. Jordan Lewis with your exclamation point. And very likely the dagger. Michigan State was not lucky on Saturday as their as they lost their second game of the season when they faced Indiana. That's all for sports. Now back to you at the news desk. Homecoming t-shirts are still on sale during all lunches until Friday. Pick one up for $10. Along with the shirts, homecoming tickets are also on sale during all lunches for $20. They'll be 25 at the door. If you are interested in submitting a song for the homecoming playlist, please visit www.wsdmi.org songs. Golf cart decorating will be taking place tomorrow from 2 until 4 in the PAC hallway. All are welcome to join. Before the big game on Friday, join student council for the pregame dinner for $5. You will get chili, a sub, chips, pop, and dessert. Dinner will be served from 4 until 5.15. Homecoming, Homecoming flower sales are happening until tomorrow during all lunches. Boutonnieres are $15 and corsages are $25. Payments can be made in cash or checks and is due at the time of the order. There are several options to choose from, so don't delay. Voting for homecoming king and queen will start this Thursday at 6 a.m. and go through Friday at 4 p.m. Voting will take place at www.wsdmi.org slash vote. Well, that's all we have for you today, Captains. Once again, I'm Alex Dorsey. And I'm Michael Croft. Have a great rest of your day.